What's going on, boils and goyles? Bronx JL here. It is a gloomy kind of afternoon, evening. It's like 7.30 at night in New York City, Bronx, New York. Bronx JL, hello, hello. Um, I, I just made a video and I figured, you know what, I'll make another one. Telling you guys about my trip that I'm going to take next Friday. And, um, I don't know. So next Friday. Alright, I wanted to drive down to Florida to visit my sister. And that was the original plan. I'm going to drive down to Florida, see my sister. My friend Anthony lives in Florida. So now that morphed into, I'll drive down to him, spend three, four, five days with him. Go see my sister, spend three, four, five days with her. Come up to New York, there's my vacation. That morphed into, hey Anthony, you fly up to New York every year to see your family anyway, so why don't you fly up to New York, I'll drive you home. Which meant road trip. But right, here's what the plan is now. He's gonna fly up to New York, spend some time with his family. Friday, August 5th, I'm going to work with all my luggage in the car. You know, two garbage bags. I'm a Bronx kid, we don't have luggage. And uh, I get out of work now, like 7 o'clock. I'm going to go pick him up. And we are going to drive straight to Philadelphia because I want cheesesteak. So we're going to go out to Philly, grab some cheesesteaks, and find a hotel. Because at that point, it's probably going to be around midnight. I'm going to be freaking exhausted because I'll have been up working, you know, the whole day from 10 to 7. So we're going to find a hotel room. Now, to get to Texas, you pretty much have to drive through Nashville. I don't know if I'm ever going to make it to Nashville again. And I think Nashville is the kind of place where you should spend a couple of hours to a, you know, half a day. So I'm hoping we can make it to Nashville from Philly the next morning. And um, spend a couple of hours, maybe get a hotel room in Nashville. Hit some of their eateries because, let's face it, I'm a fat fuck and I like to eat. And then... We're going to Texas. Why are you going to Texas if he lives in Florida? Great question. There's a TV show on called Gas Monkey Garage. And I've been watching it for three years now or so. Four years? Three years? Whatever. And the guy that owns Gas Monkey Garage opened up a restaurant called Gas Monkey Bar and Grill. So I'm thinking, I want a cheeseburger. So we're going to go to Gas Monkey Bar and Grill for cheeseburgers, and I'm thinking, I shut my truck off because I just realized that I'm on E, and I'm on a weird angle, but Gas Monkey Bar and Grill for cheeseburger, maybe, maybe, um, we can even locate the actual garage and go meet him I mean I'm sure they got visitors all the time coming to try to meet them and then we will um, drive 12 hours to Florida where he lives and then spend another day or two with him I'm gonna shoot down to visit my sister she lives around uh, West Palm Beach area. On the way from my friend to my sister, there's another friend of mine that I know from Facebook for like five or six years. I'd like to have lunch with her on the way down. And then um, stay with my sister for like five days. Visit her, I haven't seen her in, I don't even know, 15 years? The guy Burger King's telling me to wait. They don't want me over there because it starts a timer and uh, whatever. So, on the way up, after visiting my sister, I'm going to drive through West Virginia, I think, and visit another friend of mine from junior high school. I haven't seen her in four years, three years. And then I should be home in time to relax. I am, I'm kind of seeing a girl. And um, 
We don't have the actual title boyfriend girlfriend, but she wants to do something for my birthday because my birthday is gonna be while I'm away. And then um, the 22nd, back to work. So my last day of work is the 5th and my first day back to work is the 27th, 22nd. That's gonna be a pretty awesome vacay. So hopefully I could do a food challenge or something around and just uh, have a good time. Thank you for watching. Peace.